Alright my friends, today I'm going to show you how to get your messages and how to get uh, your video manager and stuff back on YouTube. Um, I was trying to use regular internet, but for some reason the DSL is not working, so I'm going to have to use dial up. Let me double click. Yeah, DSL is not working. I don't know why it does that sometimes. For some reason, whenever they update stuff, it screws me up. Screws up the computer whenever they update stuff. So hang on one second. Give it a second. All right. All right, it took so long, I just had to use dial up because the DSLA is not working. But I'm going to show you how to get your messages, how to get, uh, you know, how to get all your stuff on YouTube. Because I got a couple messages from people. Um, on my email actually they don't know how to send messages on YouTube anymore because they changed all your menus and stuff around uh, they changed video manager around where you can't really get the video manager anymore and you know it's just a pain in the ass whenever YouTube wants to change stuff they mess everything up see I don't think they want you to be able to keep up with things that's my goal what am I talking about my goal that's like my opinion about that is that they don't want you to be able to uh, keep up with things you know it's like as soon as you get used to something they want to change it around and change the menu so you can't keep up you know especially since my computer's a little older you know my computer's used to Windows 2000 all that with HTML now they got JavaScript, they got Flash players, and my computer just doesn't handle that stuff very well. It was it originally wasn't meant to handle all that. I mean, look at it. I can't even can't even load YouTube. Hang on a minute. I gotta double. Local and internet. Hang on a minute. See, I mean, the way they update stuff, I can't even get on YouTube anymore. Ever since they updated this, I've been having a lot of trouble getting on here. I can use any website, just not YouTube. It's retarded. Let me just make sure I'm getting data. Alright, dial up connection. Alright, I'm getting data. I'm not getting much, I'm only getting about one and a half kilobytes, two kilobytes of data. But at least it'll be enough to show you how to get your messages. It might take a little while. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um I'm gonna pause the recording here and I'm gonna start it once this loads up. Alright, here we go. It's starting to load up a little bit. As you can already see, they changed the YouTube page again. I mean, over here by your picture, you don't have an arrow anymore. Which I think is dumb how they did that. Uh, just let some more data come in here. And things will start to load up a little more. I'm, on, I'm using a dial-up connection today because I don't have DSL. So, uh, yeah, i got to use dial-up. But what I like about dial-up is anywhere there's a phone line, you can get internet. 
dial-up is very reliable. And if you're hacking into computers and shit, dial-up is way better to use than high-speed internet, from what I hear. Especially on a computer like mine, because, uh, uh, you know, it's older. Alright. I don't know why that stopped loading. See, over here, there's usually a YouTube logo. It's probably still loading. But, uh, you got this little drop-down menu here. When you click that, that's like your sidebar. Over here is like your sidebar. Wait for that to come up. And then over here, whenever you want to, uh, whenever you want to go to your video manager, you got to click your picture over here. And that'll bring down a drop down menu. You're going to have to give it a second to load. The data is coming in pretty slow, but it'll, it'll come up. Just give it a few seconds. I'll pause the recording so you're not waiting. All right, it's been about a couple minutes. I figured I'd start recording this now because now we're starting to see pictures coming up. Uh, make a long story short, you go up here to the top left corner of your page and you click this arrow with the lines here and that brings down your sidebar like what to watch, my channel, subscriptions, all that stuff that used to be there on its own. Now you gotta click that arrow to get that. Now when you wanna go to your video manager, when you wanna get your messages, uh, you know, all the stuff that you used to just be able to get when you click your picture, now in order to get that stuff, you have to go to Creator Studio. So I'm going to click on that, hopefully that will load up a little bit faster. I don't know if it will or not, because YouTube is slow even when you have high speed internet. So uh, click on that and then whenever that loads up, that will take you to the other page, uh, your video manager and all that kind of stuff. Just give that a second, I'm going to drink some of my coffee here and just relax while it loads. The DSL was working, it'd be really fast, but you know, it's. You gotta give it a second. Whenever, whenever you're using dial up connection, just for future reference, whatever, if you ever use it. And if you, you think it's not working, go to your task manager. Push control, alternate, delete. And just look down here. See how you have local area connection, you have dial up connection, and then you have wireless network connection. So right here is your dial up. Once you see that there's data coming in, even if it's not much, at least you're getting data. That's how you know your connections are working. Even the dial up is slow today. Normally I get about 15 kilobytes. Now I'm only getting two. But oh well, it'll work. Just give it a few seconds. I want to show you guys how to do this. I don't know why all this stuff is staying on the screen. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Alright, so here is the thing called uh, uh, cr Creator Studio. Alright. As you see, once you're in Creator Studio, you've got dashboard. Right here is your video manager. Uh, if you click on community, this is how you get your messages and all that kind of stuff. Uh, then after that, I don't know what the other stuff does. You click on channel, you'll probably get stuff. But right there, sorry it took so long to show you this. It's a problem on my end, you know, just the internet and shit. But oh well, I mean it happens. So uh, I hope you learned something. If you got any questions... Send me a message on here. I'm going to wait for this to load up under community. That's how you get your, your messages. I'm going to wait for that to load up so you can see. And then I think you can... There's other stuff under community too. I, I'm, I'm curious myself to see what's there. So um, I'm, I'm going to wait for that to load up. If you want to, just fast forward through the video. I'm not going to keep pausing it. 
And if it's too slow for you, just fast forward a couple seconds. Do like I do. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Or get yourself a bottle of water or something. Just drink the water real slow while you're waiting for it to load. And voila! There we go. It worked. So now we got uh, comments, we got messages, uh, subscribers, co contribute, subtitles, and CC. I don't know what that is. Uh, here's your inbox. Here's your inbox, community settings, all that. So there you go. Uh, I hope you learned something. Let me go to video manager real quick. Or let me click on channel. Channel. I got to download a meter for dial up that I can keep like down here on the taskbar. You see how on the taskbar here? The uh, the task manager shows up on the bottom and uh, you know it tells you your CPU usage I gotta get something like that for dial up so I can get a little meter to see how much data is coming in but alright I hope you guys learned something I mean sorry uh, everything's so slow but it, it is what it is it's working I can't complain uh, if you guys, um, I don't know when this video is going to get up here because uh, this is probably going to be like a two gig video. That's going to take a couple days on dial up. I can't tie up the phone line for a couple days, so uh, I'm gonna. I just got to wait for the for the DSL connection to start working again. You see, we got a lot of static in our lines. Whenever the wind blows or whenever it rains, you get static on the phone and DSL comes through the phone and it's got to go through a filter too so so uh, you know the fact that it's going through a, a filter the filter filters out any static and if you're getting a lot of static in your line then the connection is not going to work at all it's weird how it works but a little bit of static in your line you'll still get internet and it'll just interfere a little bit with your speed sometimes things won't show up the way they should but today after the storm we had there's a lot of static in the line like even in the phone line there's a lot of static so that's probably why the dial ups going so slow too because we're getting a lot of interference but uh... alright alright I hope you guys learned something uh... if you got any questions just write me a message or whatever I, uh, I check my messages all the time. Alright guys, see you later.